Hey guys, it's Doc. Guess what? It's time to cut the grass. It's Sunday morning early, and I'm going to show you a little trick. A little trick about a quick way to level your deck on your mower that you can do every single time you cut just to give you the confidence that your deck is level. So hold on one sec. I check my level on my deck every single time I cut. Again, you know me, I'm OCD. But let me show you a little trick that I've so done. So what I do is I have three now. John Deere says get get three two inch blocks. I'm not gonna do that. That's a pain in the butt. So what I do is I have three pieces of two by four. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put, now I have, <clears throat> I should put my parking blade break on of course. Um, I have Forrest Gump marks. These all have numbers, but I can never remember what number I cut on. So I use this as a reference, and I use this as a reference. I cut my neighbor's yard a little bit longer than mine. I actually come up here in the summertime or here in the summertime and may even go up here for her summertime. But you can see those little silver mark, Sharpie marks. That's for the Forrest Gump because I ain't real bright. So that helps me remember. So I bring my deck up above my normal cutting. And then what I do is I take these blocks and I put them, make sure there's no blade in the way. And I put them here and you'll notice that the scalp wheel is not going to hit it. So I put one on this side, same thing. Make sure no blade is going to hit it underneath. And I'm going to put one here so that nothing hits it on the way down. Then I'm going to go to the front and I'm going to put one under the front. <clears throat> And I'll put one under the front as well, too. So I've got one under the front. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to lower my deck just until the point that it almost touches. Or actually, I'm going to let it come down and touch. Then I'm going to let it come up just a tad. And now what I can do is I can lie down. I can just inspect this and see, okay. I don't really care where I am on my cutting mark, but I've got a small gap there. I can look across to the other side from here. I don't know if you can see that or not. Probably not. But I can actually go under here and look, and I can look to the other side, and I can see if these gaps actually match. And they're about the same. This one is about an eighth of an inch off. I'm gonna bring this side up a little bit. And my front on a John Deere, something that I actually learned this week is that John Deere builds their decks a little bit differently. This is an interesting point. You're always learning. John Deere decks are built a little bit differently. And what you want is you want the front one eighth of an inch lower than the rear. All my life on every mower I've seen, it's basically being you have your front a quarter of an inch higher than your rear. Um, but on John Deere, I forcefully pulled out the owner's manual and read it, and it even says it in there. Now, what they talk about is that if you don't do this, you're going to get a double cut of your grass, and you're going to get a brown tip or brown haze. And all of a sudden, the past couple weeks, I've been noticing that on my lawn. So I've been noticing after I cut it, I have this kind of white haze or brown haze on top. Like, And I'm like, dude, the blades are brand new. It can't be sharpness of the blades. So it's something called a double cut. And I can't find it anywhere online because when you go double cut, all you get is people talking about double cutting their lawn one way and one the other way. So I've been trying to do some research on it and I haven't been able to find anything. But basically what's happening is, is you're cutting the grass once on the front blade and then you're cutting it again. The second blade is what I understand. You got that high speed and you can get, um, and you actually get a little bit of a burn on the blade, and a burn and a rip because you're double cutting the blade. So that's interesting. So I learned something new this week. On this deck, um, the front needs to be one eighth of an inch lower than the rear. And I always had a funny feeling because my scalp wheels, I had to put my scalp wheels in different places on this mower, um, on the adjustment. So I always had to put them in different places, front and back. So uh, that, kind of, that kind of clued me in that something was going on. I'm glad I did some more research on it. So I'm going to be doing a video about scalp wheels because I think scalp wheels, as far as a good cut, are probably one of the most important aspects of tuning your lawn mower. 
Um, but that's a separate video. I'm going to do a video, I hope, maybe next week on tuning your scalp wheels, which I'm OCD about my scalp wheels. Because I think if you don't want to get those scalp marks from your, from your lawn, scalp wheels are a critical key in where you set them and how you use them and understanding them. But on your deck leveling, so, so hey, it might be worth a try. If you're getting that brown haze and you know you got sharp blades on your lawnmower, give that a try. In other words, keep your front blades a little bit lower than your rear blades. Might not even be a bad thing if you got a push mower. If you're getting that brown haze, try it on that too. Now, I also have um, this, which is your, um, it's your mower blade measuring tool. I only need that really a couple times a year because once I know that my mower blades match my deck height. So this thing goes up underneath. You hit the mower blade and it'll tell you here. So you can turn your blades to the side, go this side, go to the other side, and it'll tell you if your blades are even. Well, I know for a fact that my blades match this, so I don't need to keep using this tool. If I know that my blades are even based on this right here, then I'm good to go. So, um, I only need this maybe a couple times a year just to verify it, but I think the blocks are a lot easier here to do, just a two by four, and again, I'm not really associating this with this right here. I'm just using this as a level. So I may change my cutting height. This is one and a half inches. Obviously it's a two by four, it's one and a half inches. Um, and my scalp wheels, I keep my scalp wheels as close to this ground as possible, about an eighth of an inch, just so you know, but that's a separate video. And an eighth of an inch is one of my cutting height. So when I drop this down, maybe one more, they'll be just about touching. So uh, started cutting the front, and I'm much happier with this setting, by the way. I don't have that white haze. Kind of hard to see with the sunshine, but this time, I didn't take it down too low. I'm just doing a test cut. But you can see I don't have that white haze on here. And I normally would have that white haze. You can see how level it is. You can see how level it is. It all looks nice and level. Good clean cut. And look at these blades. Now this has just been cut. Look how good those blades look there. A bit of the shade. See how good? Now those blades have just been cut. Look how pretty they look. cut my entire yard. First I cut uh, my neighbor Barb. I cut her lawn. She's away on vacation for a couple days. Cut her lawn. Uh, cut my whole lawn. Man, this tuning point really, really, really strikes home. Uh, getting that front deck at least level, if not an eighth of an inch lower. Uh, balancing out my deck. Now I'm going to show you my backyard here. Understand this, when my backyard, I have a down slope plus because of crappy installation at some point, whenever this house was built, uh, you have this undulation and you always get these scalp marks. I don't care what you use. I gotta say, man, the one thing I'm not seeing this time is I'm not seeing any of those haze marks, the white haze, you know, the burnt tips or cut tips kind of marks. I'm not seeing any of that. Now, I'm gonna have these, I'm gonna have a tiny bit of scalp marks just because again, this whole yard slopes down, <laughs> and while it's sloping down, it kind of does this. So, I mean, unless I want to spend $5,000 to have this whole yard uh, leveled with topsoil, which I don't really feel like doing, but that's a pretty darn good cut there. Now that's a good cut right there. That's a really good cut. But I want you to really look at these tips. Look at those tips. Again, look at those tips. I don't really see any of that of that burn on there anymore. So 
So anyways, guys, today's lesson is, is uh, of course, read your owner's manual, but also uh, play, with, play with the leveling of your deck. Um, majority of people, majority of manufacturers say that you're going to keep the front about a quarter of an inch higher, and that's the way I've always been taught. Um, but keep it flat or even tilt down about an eighth of an inch. Make sure your deck is level. Use the block trick. Figure out a way you can use that block trick and test your level almost every single time you cut. I'm telling you, it'll pay off. Here we are, and it's uh, actually it's actually about 6 o'clock at night right now. But I want to come out here a little bit later and take a look at this, too. Man, look how thick that is. That is just thick. <laughs> what do you think? You like it? Hey, do you like it? Is it good? Is that good summer grass? Is that good summer grass? This is a great summer grass, Dad. It's great. Look at those knockout roses. Big old knockout roses. I had to get these on camera. I've been waiting three weeks for these to open. Look how pretty they are. They are just gorgeous. Three weeks. You've been sitting there as a bud waiting to open. <laughs> And if you've watched my tomato plant video, I've just here's a little update for you. These things were 18 inches tall when I planted them. They're a foot over my head now. But look at all those tomatoes coming along under there. That's a thing of beauty. Look at all those tomatoes. And we've had a ton of cucumbers. The little baby ones. Ooh, that one's ready to go right there. That one's long. Oh, look at that. That's a pretty cucumber right there. Look at all these peppers. All those little hot peppers. And I know that there's a green pepper. Look at that green pepper sitting right there. So anyways, guys, it's a little bit later at night. Just came out here to get some produce for dinner. And uh, this little tip is a really good little tip. Again, I want you to play with this. I want you to play with it. I want you to test it. Take an area and test it. See if it makes a difference for you. Again, use that block trick. Somehow figure out how to use it. Get a set of blocks that works for you and your mower. When you pull your garage, when you pull a mower into the garage to, or wherever to fill it up with gas, throw the blocks under it. Boom. You know right away that you're level. Uh, don't forget, new website's up. Click the subscribe button and uh, click a like or dislike button. I don't care if you like it or dislike it. Click one of them. Talk to you later. Doc.